Hey, Euchre Media family, Sergey Praknevsky here, and welcome to tip number 69. In today's daily tip, I'm going to continue talking about the JSON file, and I'll show you a practical example. However, if you haven't seen last three daily tips, you should definitely watch them first before you watch this one. I'll include the links at the bottom of this video. All right, so let me show you exactly what I'll be showing you how to create in this video. So for this example, I have this JSON file, and this JSON file has a list of different soccer players. So we have five of them in here. And again, how we talked about in the previous video, the index value of things and stuff like that. So the index starts at the very top, so it's zero, and then one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna show you how to rig something like this to where we're going to reference the player information based on the index value. And that name or value is gonna come from the name of our composition. So this composition has the number of the player, the name of the player, and then the position of the player. And that information, all of this, is actually coming from this JSON file. And it's pointing to the index value based on the name of this composition. So whatever number you type in here, that's what you're gonna see in here. So I typed zero, and for that, we're showing index number zero. So index number zero is the first name, Elijah Patrick, striker, and then number nine, and that's what you see. However, if I change it to one, we're gonna see Evan Jones, forward, and number 11. So if I do that, you can see that's exactly what happens. The cool thing about this is that you can have a list that's super long and you can update things in your composition easily if you rig it up this way because now instead of going into each composition and changing text, you can simply select your composition, do control D and duplicate it. And by default, when you duplicate things, After Effects adds plus one to the name. So if it was one, it's gonna become two. So now automatically, it goes to index number two, which is the next name, right? Bob Smith. And then you can keep going, control D again, and then you're gonna see Josh Miller and so on. And you can still go back and then add more names to the list and then save it and then keep going. So let me show you how to set this up using expressions in After Effects. Okay, so let's start fresh. And for this setup, I have my number here, my name, and then position. So none of these source text properties have any expressions. So let's start at the very beginning. And I already have my JSON file in here. And next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring that into my composition and let's go to the very first player on the list. So this one right here, and I'm gonna get the name of that player. And we already talked about data value in the previous video, so definitely check that out first. So I'm just gonna copy this path. I can select it and do Control C and copy it this way, or you can just right click and copy expression only. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this and let's go to name text. I'm going to alt click on stopwatch for this source text property of this name text. And I'm going to paste our path to this JSON file first name, right? So when I click away, we can see Elijah Patrick. That's the first name we have on the list. As you can see, we have Elijah Patrick and the next one is Evan, Bob, and so on. Okay, so we're almost there. Now to get to the next name or next name on the list, we would just have to change this index value. So right now it's set at zero and that's where we get the first name. But if I do one, we'll get Evan. If I do two and so on. So instead of us typing it in here, let's link it up to where we change the name of our composition. Whatever number we type into here, it will update it in here, which is pretty simple. All you have to do is just put this on a different line. And then here we're gonna create a variable. I'm gonna call it comp name. So right now this variable doesn't exist. Let's give it some kind of value and I'll tell it to be the name of this composition. So I'm gonna say that composition. In fact, don't do it this way. Just type this comp. You always want it to be referencing this current comp that you're in. Because if you're gonna to reference to that name, when you duplicate it, it's always gonna to go to that name. So you wanna say this comp, okay? And in here I'm gonna say this comp, I want a property called name. In other words, I want the name of our current composition. Okay, and then what you do, you take this variable and then you plug it in for that variable or for that number. And now instead of typing the number in here, it's grabbing the number from there. But you wanna make sure you type a number in there because if you click away, you can see we get an error. But if we change this to zero, now we can see Elijah Patrick. If I change this to one, so you definitely get the idea. So we're pretty much done. And by this point, you would do the same thing and instead of, you know, I'm gonna copy all of this, I'm gonna to go to the number, alt click on the stopwatch, paste the same expression, and in here, we're gonna change some things. So instead of, obviously, the name, we're wanting the number. So the number, I think it was index number two. So yeah, index two, that's fixed. And the same idea here, 
whatever value change in here, it's going to go to that number. So let's go to zero. So everything's working except the position. And again, the same thing here. Alt click on stopwatch for this position. Control V and paste. And let's update this. So pos position was second one on the list. So that's going to be index one. Remember, zero, one. So let's type one. And now we have the position. So now we can easily change to any index. We're going to say one. And then, as you can see, went to Evan. And then if I select this and duplicate this, Control-D, you can see that it goes to the next one, Bob Smith. And the same thing for index number three and so on. All right, well, this is the end of this daily tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell button. As always, follow us on social media. And if you want to learn more about expressions, you should definitely take our online expressions course at ucarmedia.com expressions. The link is at the bottom of this video. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ucarmedia.com.